Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to unit test your Xamarin Forms apps. Here specifically I'm going to show you the standard type of unit testing, not the UI testing, but the standard type of unit testing and this will also show us the main advantage of MVVM and that's the testability of the code that we write. So let's first see here I already have a project set up, you can find that in the description on GitHub, I'm going to have two folders, one that's going to be called before and one after. This is going to be in the before folder and when we finish this it's going to be in the after folder obviously. So here we have our project and as you can see I ran the app already. So here we have a label and a button and when you click on the button it should change the label text to you click the button. I already went in the previous videos on how to set up fresh and how to set up 40 and MVVM in general. So if you don't understand like what the, what is a page model and what does add I know if I properly change the interface do, check out the other videos. The card is going to be shown right now. So here we have our app and when we click the change label text button it's going to change the label. So very simple. How can we test this? Well, mostly you want to add a completely different project for testing. So we're going to add now a new project, which is going to be here. I'll go over to .NET and choose an unit library test project. So we're going to use an unit here. And on Windows, it may be a little bit different process of finding the project you want to create but it's pretty easy so let's go to next and let's call this since our project is called unit testing I'll call it unit testing dot tests okay let's create a project okay now it added a new project and it added one class that's called test.cs so let's remove this and now, uh, I personally, when I test my own apps, I test the page models first. So let's add a new folder and it's going to be called page model tests. And now add a new C sharp class that is going to be called main page model test. Actually tests, because why not? And over your test classes, you want to add a text fixture attribute fixture and add the end unit the framework namespace. And before every test, so your tests are going to be decoupled in methods. So here I'm going to have just one test method which is going to be called public void uh, test actually call it like button click test or something like that and I'm going to add the test attribute so now we need to find a way to access our main page model since these two projects are not tied in any way I need to add a reference to unit testing project and that's pretty much it and I repeat, it's going to be a little bit different on how you add your references on Windows and how you add them on Mac. But the process is pretty simple. If not, just Google it. So now we have our references. Now we need to add certain packages. Okay, so since now we're going to be using our main page model, it has a couple of dependencies. It's dependent on the fresh MVVM. Nugget package and also on the Xamarin Forms Nugget package since we're using the command. So let's add those packages to our tests project. So let's go fresh MVVM, add that, and also add Xamarin Forms. And I really don't think we're going to have to add anything else here. Okay, so now let's create an instance of our main page model. And that's it. Now let's see how we're going to test this. So when the user clicks the button, it should change the text and we need to check that. So let's first 
emulate the user clicking a button so let's uh, right here dot it has the change text command and we're going to execute that command we have to pass null here okay if you're passing something else into the command obviously you should pass that but since we don't have anything we will just pass null and now that the this command is executed it should change the text to you click the button so let's see how we're going to compare it so nUnit has a really nice class that's called assert so assert dot now you as you can see we have all sorts of methods here are equal are not equal are not same are same and you can really explore this and see what fits your case but here we only need the r equal method and here we have two parameters expected and actual expected is going to be our string over here you click the button and let's copy that over here that's it and now the actual is main page model dot label text i think it's called yeah that's it and for instance now we don't have to run the app in order to, to check if the label text was changed but we can do it in the unit test which can in a lot of cases be a lot faster than running the whole app including all android and ios and everything but just the standard dotnet project so here we have if you don't see this on visual studio for mac you can go to view and check this test uh, on windows it's a little bit different I'm repeating myself again but it is different but it's not very hard to find so let's now run all these tests I mean actually we have only one test but that's it okay now it ran our tests and as you, you can see here it says that all the tests are passing so let's see uh, here we have our test results pad and we can exclude also what which failed, which passed, and this certain test, button click test, passed without a problem. So now let's try to break it in code. Let's go like you clicked the button without the exclamation mark. And now let's run that. Okay, it's running our tests now, and obviously if it failed. Here you'll get the output of what exactly failed it's going to say what's expected but what actually was and sometimes it may get confusing because you may mix up these two parameters the first parameter is the for expected one the one it should be and the other one the second parameter is for actual so here you have all the info about what happened and you can easily fix that in code and that's pretty much it if you or into test driven development here's how you here's how you add your tests i'm not really going to show you how to do tdd because i know i really cannot explain that well i'm going to leave a link for uh robert martin's i think it was some kind of a talk or something that he gave on tdd i think you should really check that out if you're into it and if you even if you're not i think it's actually a great great thing to check out and that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.